53-year-old Lisa Kelly is fighting leukemia. For the past two years, she has also been fighting to pay for treatment. It wears you out. It just takes everything out of you. Lisa was underinsured. When she was still healthy, she purchased a limited benefit plan marketed by the AARP. With $37,000 of annual hospital coverage, she thought it would at least get her in the door at MD Anderson, a leading cancer center. But they told her it was not enough. So Lisa cashed in some of her husband's inheritance and came in with a check for $45,000. When her test showed she needed immediate cancer treatment, the hospital asked for another $60,000 to admit her that day. I just gave you $45,000. Do you carry that kind of, that, that's it. That's all I got on me. Lisa Kelly's situation is not unique. 4,200 of the nation's 4,900 hospitals are beginning to require proof of payment up front for non-emergency needs, meaning if it is care you can schedule, the hospital wants to know how you will pay for it. They cite the rising costs of uncompensated care. In 1997, hospitals provided $18.5 billion worth of care without pay. By 2007, that number has almost doubled to $34 billion. Rich Umdenstock of the American Hospital Association says hospitals are in a very tough position. He sees lots of plans like Lisa Kelly's, which may be enough to cover the cost of a broken bone, but fall far short when it comes to catastrophic illnesses. The patient has purchased the plan, the insurer has issued the plan, uh, but a lot of times uh, it falls to the hospital to explain that plan. Lisa paid $187 a month for a plan that severely restricted the type of care covered versus buying full health coverage that would have cost her two to three times as much. Senator Chuck Grassley's office has been investigating how some limited benefit plans are marketed. He asked Lisa Kelly to testify before Congress. Wouldn't you expect uh, when you buy something that is referred to as health security, that you would think that you were getting a pretty good product. The AARP stopped marketing the plan purchased by Lisa, but there are still an estimated one million people who are holding similar policies. Knowing your insurance and what it costs you alone is just devastating. <laughs> Much less knowing you have an illness that'll kill you. By using her family's life savings, Lisa has already paid more than $100,000 out of pocket, and she still owes $137,000 more. Hari Srinivasan, CBS News, Clute, Texas.